One thing on his mind He's going back to town To even up the score He's going back and try to get Revenge at Sycamore Revenge at Sycamore Was burning in his mind But he'll never get it No matter how he tries This time won't be Like it was before Cause he'll regret he tried to get revenge at Sycamore He made some plans, robbed the stage, and took a man's life. But he made his worst mistake when he took the sheriff's wife. Now the outlaw has the lady, and he's on the road. He knows Sheriff Tabor's coming when he finds out what he's done. He's gambling that he's gonna win, but stakes are way too high. Cause when justice turned to cards up, it cost him his life. Revenge at Sycamore was burning in his mind. But fate would not allow it, no matter how he tried. Cause this time was life the way it was before. He came to regret, he tried to get revenge at Sycamore. Revenge at Sycamore was burning in his mind But fate would not allow it, no matter how he tried Cause this time was life the way it was before He came to regret, he tried to get revenge at Sycamore Revenge at Sycamore was burning in his mind But fate would not allow it, no matter how he tried Hey, man, it's nice to be back home. Yeah, it was. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
She ain't been looking mm -hmm. for it though, that long. It's been a long time. Well, boys, I can't tell you how good it is to see all of you again. And I'm sure glad to be out of that penitentiary. I'm gonna tell you, two years in that hell hole is rough. I bet it is. Gee, it's great to have you back, Senor. Yeah, sure. What's up? Well, I don't know about y'all, but I'm broke. I ain't got ten dollars of my name. We got to figure out some way to make some money. I don't care how we make it. We got to rob stagecoaches, banks, cattle, horses. Anything we do to raise any money. Anybody got any ideas? And the bank over in Gold City got plenty of money in it. Yeah, much, that would be an easy one. Yeah. How much money are we talking about? About twenty-five thousand. Well, that'd be five thousand a piece. That'd be something to start yeah, with. Yeah, it's All much right. older than Nero, no? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad uh, that everybody's looking good. By the way, have you seen Ross anywhere? Somebody told me that he didn't get killed in that final shootout. See, si, I seen him about a month ago. Me and some compadres, he did a big shootout with some Texas cattlemen. Seems really? that they didn't take kindly to us eating their beef. Huh. So we have almost over across the border into Mexico. And as we stopped into a cantina, there sits Senor Ross with a beautiful senorita. <laughs> That's just right. like him. He always did have a horseshoe in his back pocket. See, si, yeah. he most certainly did. Well, what's the situation on the law over in Gold City? Anybody? Been around there, check out yeah, what's going up over there. Hey, that's good. Yeah, that sheriff's tough. Yeah, if he's still the same ones there a couple of years ago, he might better get a little distraction, kind of. Yeah, he's you forty five to take care of him. About two of them upside the head, that'd be all to him. Mm -hmm. I understand that's Sheriff Taylor over there. Well, Tabor is the one that's over at Sycamore City, but I'll tell you what, I've got a score to settle with him and that old goat he runs around with, Nate Booth. See, the old yeah. prospector. Yeah. I know him very well. well he's kind of tough man. Like he's a bad hombre. Yeah. All right, after we take care of this bank in Gold City, we're going to go on to Sycamore City and get both of them. Also, that old Marshall's over there. And, you know, I don't have too much for him either, so let's get him too while we're over there. Take care of him first. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Get into town, I want you to take care of the horses. Remember what I told you? That I was going to call a distraction on one end of the town. I want you to hold the horses until the guys arrive the back. I'll be down on this end calling that distraction. You get over the horses. I'm getting worried. Hank and Jake's been gone too long. They should have had that bank job pulled down and been here. I'm really getting worried about this. Bo, here comes Hank now. They shot Jake. They shot Jake. Carried him to jail. Shot him in the leg and they carried him to jail. Go back to town and see what's going on. All right. Then get back at the, at the mine. Okay. Ah, yeah. Ah. Ah. Mayor, Mr. Allen is here to see you. Shall I show him in? Send him in. Don't get up, Alfred. Uh, how you been? Very good, thank you. John, I want you to know how terrible I and the town feel about the loss of your brother. He was the finest sheriff the old city's ever had. We can have justice. We can make those responsible pay. John, those responsible will pay. Not in this life, then in the next. I didn't come here for a sermon or for sympathy. I came here for justice, justice for those who have suffered. I want just revenge. I know you, John Allen. You can drop the ceremonious cry for justice. Your brother killed one of the robbers. The one young Jeremy shot never made it to docks. Now the last one's going to get a fair trial. He's the one that killed Billy. 
Sitting in the saloon waiting for the trial to get over with. They're going to hang Jake in the morning. I can't help that. We got to get him out first thing in the morning. Check our back trail. Come on, Hank, I'll help you with him. I know that leg's killing you. Take it easy, partner. Hank, get that lead out of that uh. leg. Go, oh, get away. I'm sure you're glad that's not my leg. Ah! Boy, ah! things deep. Here, Jack, take a drink of this. Be still. Take a drink of that raw guy. Be still. Take a drink of it. Be still. Tastes like a Be still so I can get it. Ah! Sit in there deep. Get it out. Ah! I'm sure you're glad that's not my leg. Ah! Boy, ah! things deep. Here, Jack, take a drink of this. That is ah! killing me. Ah! Be still. Hang on there. Look who's here. Hey, boys. Oh, hey, here you. we go. Ross, good How to you see you. You're looking mighty good for a dead man. Well, you ain't looking too bad for a jailbird either. Well, they fed me pretty good over there. <laughs> Former jailbird. Ain't there you go. He finally let me loose. Well, I tell you, I had a rough time there for a little while. You know, if it hadn't been for Manuel's brother, we never would have made it out of Sycamore City. Really? Yeah, he helped me out, got me down to Mexico. That's where we yeah, met. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, brother, for me. See, senor, it was nothing to him. Besides, he had promised my sister that he'd bring her something back from north of the border. <laughs> so you brought that money too, huh? See, that's good. Hey, still, think you carved over rose? Well, hey, still, still. happened there? Hey, still, got a bank job. He got shot, but he's gonna be all right here. They're gonna work on it a little bit. Everything will be all right. So, uh, uh, well, pretty good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, well, get away! All right, all right, man, well, we'll do it, man, well. You do it. Hey, get that lead out for us. Get it out for us. I'll hold him down for you. That thing get it out. Man, well. Get it out for us. We need some whiskey on that, no? Yeah, pork chop. Pork whiskey. Mm. That's right. Mm. Uh. Uh. You're the germ. Uh. Oh, still. This is killing me. I got to have get a lot of dry cats. Get off the line. Well, that thing was deep. He lost a lot of blood. I'm see, I'm gonna gonna be all right. Right. There it is, senor. <laughs> sheriff over at Gold City had a 45. That's all right, though. We'll take care of him. I'm sure glad it wasn't in my leg. I am, too. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm glad that's all with. <laughs> we got a real problem now. I don't know about you, but I'm broke. Yeah, I'm broke too. I haven't had anything going for the last couple of years. Well, you, they don't pay much on the chain gang over yonder either, you know. <laughs> no, they don't. Why don't you just rob the Gold City stage that's coming in tomorrow with the mine payment? How do you know about that? Oh, I heard the deputies talking about it when they had me locked up. I assume they're supposed to meet it somewhere between the county seat and Gold City. That's yeah. our answer then. We've got to get some money because we've got to get on to Sycamore City and settle up some scores with some people that shot us up before. Do you know if they got any guards on that stage? Yeah. Well, they can they be able to ride horses. Uh, they're supposed to, I think they're supposed to meet them somewhere near Double Spring Canyon. We can take care of that. So they're waiting for an escort to come out then, huh? I believe so. At least that's what it sounds hey, to me. Hey, Nick, that's an idea. What's that? We'll be the escort. Brilliant idea. Coming up just above the border there. There's a little old town down there. Passed a couple of deputies that uh, won't be needing their badges no more. Well, good. Chalk up a couple on our side for a change. Yeah, got them out there in the saddlebags. We can use them. We'll be the deputies. All right, good. We'll use them tomorrow then. All right. Let's have a drink on it. I'm, things are picking up here, boys. Uh, we got everybody all up and everything. Here's to our new gang. Manuel, have a drink. Here's to the future of the Nick Steel gang, boys. I'll drink to that. That's good. Things are looking up for us now. How you feel? Uh, he won't uh, be able to ride when we go out. Oh, he can still set a horse. <laughs> I can. I'm uh, going with you. Oh, he'll ride. Let's rest he'll up for ride. about an hour then, let him get a little strength back, and then we'll go get that stage. Big enough to shoot, son. Make me shoot back. Oh, Mike. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, Nate. How's things going? I'm working him hard. <laughs> Sheriff, I stopped by to let you know things are pretty quiet in town. We can handle things. You can take a rest. That'll give us a chance to work on that back forty. All right. Don't work him too hard now. Hey, Mike. All right. Take Good care. Bye, boy. Bye. Here somewhere, come on up. Oh, good. I need a good drive. You forget about the water. This is a hole up. Get your hands up in there. What? There's more guards inside. If you don't want what you partners just got, get out off that stage. Don't make any face moves at all. Get on over here a little bit, right there. Hold it right there, partner. Get over there with your partner. Stand right there and don't move. Senor Logan, your breakfast is ready. Thank you. Here it is. Okay, good. It. You two guys just back on off over here a little bit. Let's get on back into town the best way you can. Get out of here!
Let's go, gang. Let's see if that pole cat's home. See, si, senor officer. See, si, senor. Por favor, senor. Could you help a poor puzzle? My wagon, she has turned over. My little boy, he is hurt. It's spinning. Senor Logan? Yes, Rosita, where is from? Senor Rosita, Logan. Senor Logan! <laughs> you know, Linda, I'm really glad we came up here today. I've just been too busy in Sycamore City, and I need to rest myself, and we need some special time together. You got a great idea. You know how long it's taken me to get you alone? Well, probably too long, but you know what I like about you most. Who is that? <laughs> what you can do with chicken. Oh, Sonny, is that the only reason you married me? You know the real reason I married you. You're the most beautiful girl in the whole county. Just the county? Well, the whole blame state. Well, I like that a whole lot better. But then I always knew you had good taste. Why do you think I let you marry me? You know, you're so conceited. Sonny, don't you, know, you take that back. I am not conceited. Yes, you are. That's why I left you oh! so much. Sonny. What's the matter, beast day? Your badge, it scraped me. I'm sorry, honey. Why are you wearing it? I know it's supposed to be our day. It's just a force of habit. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't realize sorry. I had it on. I know you take your job seriously, sweetheart, but this was supposed to be our day. It wow. is. It is. I promise you that. Well, sometimes I just think you take everything so seriously, but but me, even the girls at Abigail's Emporium, oh, you just have to. Uh, when you take. <laughs> and there's Alex. <laughs> and there's Nate. Jealous. Yes, jealous. Well, what a town. 
Well, Sonny, it just takes you away listen, from me. Listen, listen, listen to this. I promise you things are going to get better. I said that before, but I really mean it this time. Sycamore City, I'm going to put it on a back shelf for a while. And maybe bring Nate in and, and Mike. Mike can handle things a little better now. And Nate can train him. And maybe I can I have a little more time with you and the situation with the ranch and everything. That's really what I want. Truly, really what I want. Oh, Sonny, you're so sweet. I didn't mean to hurt you, but I sort of think maybe my condition made me a little uneasy about whoa, things. Whoa, whoa. Condition? What condition? Well, I went to see Doc Palmer yesterday. Are you all right? Oh, yes. Sonny, do I have to explain the birds? You're so in the pleased bees? to be going to see Doc Palmer. What, what's wrong? What happened? Well, it has to do with the birds and the bees. Don't you understand? Really? Are you, are you serious? Are you telling me that we might be? I think you're going to be. We're going to be parrots. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. I love you. <laughs> I wanted this for so long. This is going. This is great. I knew it meant you had. Be a father. Yeah. You know, be the greatest mom in the world. I just might be. If it's a little girl, I'm sure it'll look just like you. And if it's a little boy, it might look like you. Yeah, yeah, have you heard? Of course you ain't heard. That's why I'm here. Hold on, Nate. Hold your tongue there. Take a rest. We'll go in the house and talk about it. Well, Nate, just settle down. Come on in the house. There we go. There we go. So we'll get it all straight now. How have you been? No, thank you kindly, Miss Linda. I got some important news for the sheriff. We got some news for you too, Nate, but go ahead. Well, you know, John Henson rode into town today with word that Nick was out of prison and he's making threats against you. Sonny, I thought we were through with all Nick's evil. Well, Nick and all of his men are just bluffs anyway. 50% of that's no problem, right, Nate? But... You're so thick-headed, it's the other 50% I'm worried about. Uh... Listen. We got to get into town right away because Nick and his gang's probably on the way into Sycamore City now. We got to get a posse and get them out behind bars. Nate, we just can't go into town, put cuffs on, throw them in the jail. We got to have a reason. Have you broke any laws? Is there any real good reason to put them in jail? Well, how about general principle? Well, okay, Nate. To satisfy you, go ahead and get my horse ready and I'll be out in a minute. Miss Linda? You know how I feel about this. I don't want you to go. All right, it's my responsibility to the town. You know good and well Nate and I can handle this situation. Please don't worry about it, okay? Shine at the window! <laughs> Nate, you all right? Yeah, come on, the Nick's men. We'll get him. I'm gonna get back to Linda. He's gone, and this settles it, Linda. You're coming into town. I'm not going to let some outlaw run me out of my property. It'll be safer in town. You can stay with Mom. I don't want to be safer. I want to be in my home with you. All right. How about this? I'll send Molly back with you. She knows how to use a gun. How about this? All right. All right. Well, Nick, this is what we got for you over to Logan Ranch. What's in it? Well, some papers and some money. I think you're going to like what you see, though. Let's take a look and see. Right off the top, got a few bucks there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What in there? Yeah. Look at that. Let's have something to wear whistle yeah. with you, man. See? Well, this is drinking money for a week for this bunch here. I'll put that up. <laughs> <laughs> What's this here, Rob? I don't know what those white papers are, Nick. Can you explain them? 
What those old papers mean to us, Senor Nick? Ross, you done real good. Well, what is it? Do they mean much old gold for us? Much old gold, everything. Let me tell you what we got here. Right. This is a deed to 80% of the property at Sycamore City. Hey, hey that's hey. where that Sheriff Tabor is that sent yeah. us to prison. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. When we get there, we'll get Tabor and that fuzzy billy goat that runs around with him, Nate Booth. <laughs> get well, let me tell you uh, what else we got here. What, huh? The power of attorney. What is that? Here's a proposal for our new railroad going through the Rail middle of Sycamore road? City. Aren't you all oh, a railroad? Hey, oh, hey. And here is the map of that big gold mine that they're keeping secret. Hey, gold oh, mine, all right. That's the thing we've been looking for for all two right. years. Well, I'm going to tell you what we got here. With these papers and the help of a friend of mine by the name of Rats, who is an attorney right. back east, and this power attorney, we're going to take over the whole territory up there. Take over. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. That sounds good. We have to drink to that one, baby. Yeah. What is it? I'll just look at the rest of this. What I've got to do now, I've got to go into town and send a wire and get Rat in here and get this uh, power of attorney in my name and start taking over the territory. That's right into town. Let me send that wire. Y'all want to go with me? All right, let's go, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Man, well, we can't go into town. We'll be recognized. See, that's then right. We can't go. Yeah. All right. This fight us for sure. That's right. I'm glad you brought that up. Take this map to the gold mine. Take Manuel and three of the other men. Go up there and set our headquarters up there. I'll meet you there tomorrow. The rest of us, let's go into town. Let me get this power attorney, and I want to wire rats and get all this going for us. We're talking about a lot of money. We're stage, coming, stage, coming. Hey, what's wrong with you? What's the habit, boss? Every time I hear the stage is coming, I want to go rob it. Oh, you're getting crazy and jumpy here. Cool down a little bit. Have a drink. All of them is going nuts on me. I know you got expenses. 
I'm going to give you some money now, but this is just a start. Just a start. What kind of spins did you have getting out here? Well, I tell you what, the stage line, uh, that was about uh, $250. All right, hotels are neat and all that. Right. Right. Hotel neat and the buckboard. Don't forget to back the buckboard. All right, here's That's $500 for your expenses. Put that in your pocket, man. $500. All right, I'm going to give you. That's for you. Just a minute here. Can't you trust me after all we've been to each other? I trust you there, but I tell you what, that, you know, these, a lot of these fields there, they <laughs> seem to be counterfeit and I want to inspect them there. Okay. I can tell you they're fresh from the man. I just got them off the stage on the way here. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. Here's five more thousand. Spread this around where we have two at the capital. Five thousand. It's five thousand. And when I see results, which I expect results in seven days, here is eight more thousand when I see results in a week. But I'm going to hold on to that till I see results. You mean you're going to give me eight more thousand dollars? And more. And more. I tell you what, I appreciate that. And I tell you what, I will get the job done. And I tell you what, as soon as I get all these papers and I'll go with a couple of seats and get them all lined up for you, and you will have that mind. Let's have a drink on it. I tell you what, I appreciate that, and I, I, I appreciate doing business with you. That. We're going to make a lot of money here, Randy. We're going to make a lot of money, and I'll tell you what, I'm with you all the way. <laughs> We're going to make a lot of money. Sure. Here's to it. Bartender, bring us another round, though. What do you need? Hi, right, Dad. Get your beer today. No. Got one here somewhere. He's, he's pretty bad. He's down at docks. Come on. Sorry, old buddy. Did what I could for you. Oh, 
sorry, Sheriff. I couldn't save him. I did all I could for him. He lost too much blood. Jim was a great man and the best friend I ever had. Who brought him in, Mike? Rosita, his housekeeper. She got him in the buckboard as quickly as she could. Sheriff, here's what did him in. 245 slugs. I got a debt to pay. Come on, boys. That is a mighty big mine. Do you think we will get mucho gold out of it? Yes, Manny. You and I will get mucho gold out of it. But now, Senor Nick, that's another question. Maybe we ought to deal him in for just a little plot, what you say. About three feet or so by six feet by... <laughs> you know what, get <laughs>
What is it, Jake? How much further is it to this mine anyway? About two more miles over this last mountain here. Look at that mountain lion, y'all. I think I'll kill it. Ah, oh, he got away. We'll get him next trip through here, old. Oh, that's a uh, trip. Come on, let's go on to the mile, boys. Yeah.
Come on, we we'll get him later. Right. Go to the horses now. Ma, these fellows are getting a little too big. Okay, I'll take care of it. Just go back. He stole all my money, Sheriff. There's a pound. He's got plenty of it. He's got some papers here. Some of them look... Some of them have Jim Logan's name on them. Jeez. Sir, I couldn't hear all the conversation, but he met with Nick yesterday in here. Did you hear any of it at all, Dan? Something about making a lot of money and a gold mine that they were going to take over. Figures. Well, I understand from these papers, it looks like with this fellow's help, the Nick and his gang can take over the whole valley. I put up with all the bull I'm gonna put from any of them. Him and Carson, too. Well, you let me take care of Carson. I owe him one. No, wait a minute. I got something else for you to do. What you want me to do? Well, let Manny do it. All right. Can you have it? I'm very good, Senor Nick. With how, these. How good are you? Well, Senor Nick would like to have a sample of my homo skill, no? Yes, I, I sure would. Well, be a target, Senor. That'll be easy enough. You see that heart? See, si, Senor. I want you to stick that knife right through that heart like I want you to get Carson. Uh -huh. See, amigo? Senor, that is easy. Well, do it. Good throw. You know what this card is, don't you? See, si, Senor. It's an ace of spades, a death card. I want you to stick it through his heart just like that. Can you handle that? See, si, Senor. I can handle that. Take a couple of men, take care of it. I've got business at the Tabor Ranch. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Let's go. Ha, ha, ha! 
Carson is into the saloon now. I want one of you to go to the back of the building. I want the other one to go up into the balcony. So it's under there. Right. Why don't you give yourself one, right? Good idea. I'm good. I'm sure it's been hot today, hasn't it? It's been hot, and this is good to do. Molly, I sure do appreciate you coming back to the ranch with me. You know, Sonny is really a good man, but he's such a worry ward. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. I need a break from the saloon anyway. The girls and Dan can look after things till I get I wonder who that is. I don't want to worry you, but where does Sonny keep his rifle? His rifle? Well, it's over here in the corner. Nick and some of his boys are riding up. Nick! and neither are your hired guns. Now get off right now! You dirty dog! No, don't! No. Hang on, wait. Stay our business, you hussy! Good stuff. 
Better than I thought it'd be when I bought it. That drummer, he knew what he's talking about. But let me get some more. I won't keep a lot of that on hand. Ah, oh, boy, this is rough. I wouldn't even give that to Nate's jackass if it did come around. I'm gonna get rid of that stuff. Doc, where's Marshal John? They said he got stabbed. What's wrong with him, sir? If your head bothering you again? I'm all right. Where's John? Is he dead or what? He's all right. I got him patched up and put his arm in a sling. He's tough. He's an old saloon, I guess, now. Been over there probably an hour. Say that. How's Marshal John? He's over at the saloon, Nate. Where's Mike? Mike, can you stop by the saloon to see if it's all right? And then he hightailed it to his ranch. He's going to meet us back in the Sonny, Sonny, Nick got Linda. Nick got Linda. I tried to stop him. Come on. Wait, Sonny, wait. Boy, I tell you, that sheriff, he's going to get himself in more trouble. He don't listen to nothing. Try to tell him. Sheriff, sure, your wife's a dang good shot. Molly, did you happen to hear which way the matter went? They said something about an old gold mine. That ain't gonna be hard to find, son. There ain't but one old gold mine in these parts. Nate, you know more about this territory than anybody. Explain to Mike how to get out there. He can go back to town and bring some of the people in to help us. Right. Go ahead and water the horses, fill the canteens. Wait a minute. You can't go in like that. You stand there like a white pony in a coal mine. I got just what I need. Now, where is the place? Hey, go down
Yeah. Go, go back and get Manuel and check the outpost guard. Okay. You got a shirt on like a tie like that? I got a tie like real good. You can't get away. I want to check myself. Let's go. All right. Y'all start it up, so ready. Let's check the mine out. Nate, you got a guard. Go around, I need your help on the bottom. Right.
you. Don't be able to. Lied to me. <laughs> First time. Hey! Johnny! Johnny! We got to get out of here now. All right. Dead. She's dead. I have to get her out of here. I can't leave her.
That's for Jim Logan. I didn't kill Jim Logan. Who did? Rosa Manuel had nothing to do with it. You were in charge of my wife. Oh. You're tough for a little man. She's the hombre, Senor Ross. Yeah. Now, Tabor, you get up slow. And let me have them fancy shooting arms. 
you're dead. No, Tabor. I'm not dead. But you soon will be. Now you get up slow. Easy. Get over here and let me have them things. Come on. Come on. If Molly hadn't come and told me, I wouldn't have known to be in here. Young lady, you're a mighty lucky girl. You need to let someone else do the sheriffing, and you stay out of it from now on. Sheriff? Sure. You must have dropped this up on the top of the cliff. You must have lost it during the fight. Almost lost more than you'll ever know. Baby's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Take my buggy and take her on home and get some rest. I'll get a horse and go away. Thank you a lot, Doc. Easy, honey. Easy. Easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, easy. We'll go easy. Let's go home. Okay. Take care, Chad. Try to get revenge at Sycamore Revenge at Sycamore Was burning in his mind But he'll never get it No matter how he tries This time won't be Like it was before Cause he'll regret He tried to get revenge at Sycamore Mistake. 
when he took the sheriff's sword. Now the outlaw has the lady, and he's on the road. He knows Sheriff Haver's coming when he finds out what he's done. He's gambling that he's going to win, but stakes are way too high. Cause when justice took the cards up, it cost him his life. Revenge had sick the mold was burning in his mind. But fate would not allow it, no matter how he tried. Cause this time was life the way it was before. He came to regret, he tried to get revenge at sick the mold. Revenge at Sycamore was burning in his mind But fate would not allow it, no matter how he tried Cause this time was life the way it was before He came to regret, he tried to get revenge at Sycamore Revenge at Sycamore was burning in his mind But fate would not allow it, no matter how he tried Cause this time was life